All right, it's time for the paper review this morning. Yeah, let's take a look at what the headlines are saying. And it's going to be a very uh, interesting one. One way or the other, we it's three days to election, and you expect to really, you know, get the feelers of politics comments from here and there. Un understandably. Count, you know, it's un understandably, really... Understandably, <laughs> Mike. Uh, of course, a lot. Uh, even though we're counting down to Saturday, every day ahead of Saturday mm. has a, a new angle. There's a Ex mix. Exactly. It's all about politics, exactly. of course, you know, but then all the critical issues also yeah. make it to the papers, mm. uh, Mike. Well, uh, but one concerning thing it has to do with uh, fire, <coughs> fire incidences really in INEC offices. Right. We'll talk about that. Really <coughs> worrisome. Really worrisome. All right, we have a social commentator, Smart uh, Akpejui, uh, joining us. He's one of our regulars to look at the papers this morning. Smart, good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Kemi, how are you? Thank you. All right, let's begin with the Daily Trust newspaper now. Buhari Atiku signed a code on polls outcome today and Bill Clinton to speak with candidates this week. You know, he was supposed to be around, but he, he had to uh, cancel his visitation. But we understand that he still will be speaking with them uh, through whatever means that is uh, uh, possible. Now, when it comes to this... Uh, peace accord, it, it seems like uh, it's becoming, gradually becoming part of the process now for all sides to sign peace accord. Well, peace accord, um, we had it in 2015, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> to a large extent, the 2015 election was very peaceful. However, signing peace accord, you see, the violence is not caused by this party signing the accord. The, the, the violence are caused by not even their supporters, by those that perhaps unguided that would just take to the streets when either election, election results are announced, either for or against them. So what we should really do, it's instead of signing peace accord, let us, do we still have a national air orientation agency? Of course, absolutely. I'm not, sure. I'm not sure. I think it has been scrapped. No, it hasn't been scrapped. It's there. <laughs> honestly, it's they are not doing their around. job. They are not even seen. They are not even heard. You see, we should take this piece, uh, this sensitization of having either before and after election, mm -hmm. having a peaceful process to everywhere. Shouldn't we should even, even, even be... including the town criers of those days. Mm. Shouldn't it even every... be a continuous process? And the parties be... have their role. NOA yes. has its role and several so other national, bodies. The national they should be doing their job. You don't even see them. You don't even hear them. Mm. And you know what? They are available in all the 774 yes. local, local government, government area. They have it has an office. Mm. Ah. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Now, Air Force begins a lift of electoral materials. You can see the picture story there. Uh, Nigeria Air Force helping to deliver INEC materials across parts of the country. It's really interesting. Ex-SGF, Babachi Lawal, remanded in EFCC custody. Mm. All right, we were seeing the, uh, after so much uh, call from Nigerians to, mm. to follow up on the case against him right. or the allegations against right. him. Mm -hmm. GDP grew by 2.38% in the fourth quarter of 2018. The uh, National Bureau of Statistics is revealing that, revealing that. And APC vows to punish Amosu and others. It holds mega rally today in Abuja. A lack of quorum stalls on Ogan's case at the appeal court. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's from the Daily Trust. I think I'm interested in that aspect of Amosu uh, being dealt with by, uh, by, the, by the party. I think if they are just saying that now, is uh, honestly it is wrong. They should have done it immediately. Well, we, it they, was very clear. I watched all the proceedings yeah. on your channels, and it was very clear that Amosu have a hand well, in what the, happened at the stadium. Yeah, it, it's a domestic issue within the party, uh, and as it rolls out, let's see how uh, it, it is being handled. The party is even saying it we, won't be distracted we, at this point until after after, yeah, after the elections. Exactly. Right, mm. right. All right. I'm with the Punch newspapers. Uh, the paper is leading with the Ogun violence. Amo Suki says APC threatens to punish him after polls. Uh, however, Vice, Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo has urged voters during his door-to-door uh, -door campaign in Agoiwoye, urging uh, the electorate there to ignore Ogun governor Amosu and vote APC candidate in all elections. There's also the picture story there showing the airlifting of electoral materials by the Nigeria Air Force for Rhinec. Uh, this will now be dispensed now to various airports across the country. 
Other stories here, 14 die in stampede at Buhari's rally in Rivers. The story has also been updated in our news, uh, talking about the president's condolence to the affected uh, victims. Woman tortured seven-year-old niece with hot knife for stealing chewing gum. Supreme Court upholds disqualification of APC candidates in Rivers. This smart now, how do you view this uh, this legal intervention, so to speak, especially where well, the party is concerned. You see, it is very, very sad, and it is also good for judicial. It's a judicial precedent that must be that must be taken seriously. Before someone said, "Why reverse?" This is the second see, time that mm, the judiciary will come out again. You see, in the first place, then if they say why reverse, then go and look at the political leaders mm -hmm. in river states. You see, in the first place, the um, a court of competent jurisdiction gave an instruction. Mm -hmm gave an order restraining carrying out an election. He went ahead and carried out the election. Then the Supreme Court came and said, look, in the first place, you should have obeyed this court that said, don't go ahead with this election. You went ahead with the election. You have disobeyed, you have disobeyed the court process. You now want a court process to revalidate you. No. You cannot be here and also be there. So I think it's a, it's a, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good judicial precedent for our politicians. And let our politicians learn from this. But right. going forward, honestly, it is very sad that APC will not be partaking. But at the House of Assembly, even up to the governorship, governorship it is very, very sad. All right. Right. Sad, it's sad, it's sad for the party. Sad on, for the, the party on, yes. on the other hand, democracy, because these things have to be tested one way or the other. It's, yes. a, it's the same thing in Zamfara State. Yes. It has to be tested. And it, it tells to, to a great extent that our institutions are becoming firmer and stronger because if INEC insists, no, this is the standard and it has to be upheld, and the court is also upholding that standard, then I think it is good for democracy. Yes, that was, why I said, that was why I said at first that it is very, very good yeah. that at least judiciary is beginning to have their way. Spot, exactly. let me run through the other stories. Buhari, <coughs> Atiku can be trusted, says uh, the presidential candidate in, for PDP, Atiku, during his rally in Lagos yesterday. 4,695 smart card readers burnt in Anambra. That's according to INEC, raising doubts about how elections will be conducted there on Saturday. Fraud charges perpetually while others remanded in ESC custody. That's been said. I'll probe $16 billion Obasanjo, which Obasanjo spent on power project President Buhari is vowing uh, in River State during his rally yesterday. Uh, the ex-president, of course, that's Chief Obasanjo, has also vowed that he will make himself available for probe. Mike, over right. to you now. Let's move to the, <laughs> Let's move to the Vanguard News Openizer. Next uh, uh, headline here says, uh, Ogun, uh, Amosun will pay for Rally Faka after polls. APC saying that and direct supporters to vote only its candidates. A CP removed and Oshiba Joflay's governor's comments. All right, uh, we have another headline here that says, uh, 4,695 card readers destroyed in Anambra INEC office inferno. Now, I wonder how much of a setback this is going to be for INEC uh, as far as you, you can see. It's one aspect, again, that sometimes baffles me again is that every election time we're beginning to see things that are strange, that are alien. Hmm. You see, we, I cannot understand. Those things in, uh, in the INEC or in, in those containers, they are not inflammable. How come it went into flame some few days to election? No matter what we say, it will have a ripple effect on the process of election in that state. Simple. Honestly, I think we are beginning to see other, other aspects that are alien. And it must be, and again, if you say it must be investigated, you see, they will carry out an investigation and you don't even we're still, come... We're still waiting you, to you, hear you, the you investigations. Don't even, you don't even come up to, you don't even hear what is the, the outcome, the of, outcome of this investigation. Because we're still so waiting to hear, hear the investigation from Isialangwa South uh, in Abia ah, State, the first one that the happened. First one. And then uh, a few days ago, uh, the, the one in uh, Kwampan, local government area of, so, of Plateau State, ah, and then this. Well. Okay, uh, let's move on now to other headlines there. CCT trial allow NJC to decide on organized fate. NBA begs mm -hmm. federal government. And the federal government uh, accuses PDP of plan to trigger a crisis ahead of polls. And bitter campaigns worry uh, Mbazulike and Mechi, okay, that's uh, an opinion. And polls, Supreme Court knocks out APC in River State. 
All right, and GDP grew by 2.38% in fourth quarter. NBS is saying that that's the National Bureau of Statistics is saying that, and the federal government is saying that ERGP is on course. And the picture story there tells uh, various political campaigns going on in parts of the country, Kwara State and Lagos uh, State there. All right. The nation is next. Leading with uh, Buhari once again, I will recover $16 billion uh, Obasanjo government power cash. Former President Obasanjo is also uh, going on to say, uh, reveal what happened to uh, the power sector cash now. But Smart, a quick word from you uh, on this one. How critical uh, this probe is. It's been the subject of controversies uh, for a while now. Uh, what do you, how would you analyze the situation? First, I'd listen to Obasanjo in the past talked about this. He said, look, $16 billion was the budgeted uh, expenditure mm -hmm. on power within the years it was in government, but that it was not the amount released. And you see, if, if, if when you look at the Illumilu um, probe, whatever, mm -hmm. has also revealed that it wasn't $16 billion that was actually disbursed. It's a, it's a different thing that you have a budgetary approval, and it's a, it's a, diff it's a different thing also that you have a financial backup that it was not up to. So if anybody is talking about 16 billion now, I think one good thing Obasanjo have said is that he said, I will make myself available. Mm. Of course, Obasanjo will make himself available. The Ministry of Finance, the CBN, that are responsible for approval and disbursement of a, of a fund for budgetary funds, of course, they should also come with their this thing, with their with their with their paperwork to, to with their records to show that, of course. This was the amount approved. This was the amount disbursed. And I think if Obasanjo have said, and I hope this is just not a campaign issue, that it will be it's duly followed. Through. It will be duly right. followed through. Well, right. that's, that's the biggest concern of Nigerians because uh, in the history of Nigeria, we, we've not been able to call any or summon any former president, sit we've not. down and ask him questions. We how have did not. this go and how did that go? So we are, honestly, we a lot have of not. Nigerians are still very skeptical as well. I am very how, skeptical. How this is going to play out. Because if you are talking about the Dasuki probe also, mm -hmm. we should be talking about that by now, if President Jonathan has not even been called in. Because Dasuki said it in one of his speech, in one of his distance. He said, look, for every cobo I disbursed, I, had, I have approval. All the instructions mm. came. He said, I have approval. Exactly. And he said, if he has approval and he has an instruction. Mm. So I think, and if you are holding that, so you're, not, you're not holding the person that gave the approval, right. then there is a problem. But then there are all those other stories uh, the nation is leading with. Uh, that's Alaji Lai Mohammed there, up there on the front page there, alleging that or accused in the PDP of planning to scuttle poll. Arewa endorses president for another term. Airlift of election materials on. O'Neill loses suit against Fire Me. We also have Quara APC excited as Appeal Court upholds its candidate, Abu Bazak. All right. This day is our last paper for this morning. Buhari expresses regret as Supreme Court seals fate of APC candidates in River State pledges to respect decision. When it comes to that, I guess he's going to receive a lot of commendation to, uh, to uh, agree well, to uh, respect this. Either he promised to uh, abide by whatever. You see, even though if he does contrary, then there will be there, there will be issue. The but, Supreme but, uh, Court, have, uh, the Supreme Court have said it. Uh, of course, have said and it's final. No candidate, and it is final. Mm. Yeah, you can only take your you can only take your case to God. To, to God, God. absolutely. <laughs> like they say, exactly. Mm. And Anek is even firm. Anek has been firm on this. And so on. APC vows to punish Ogun violent, uh, violence promoters, says President will allege, uh, President's uh, alleged inciting comment, a joke. Now, court stops federal government from freezing on Ogun's account, right? And presidency at 1.93% uh, GDP growth, EFCC's, oh, sorry, federal government's economic plan is working. Analysts call for increased uh, investment in Nigeria. Okay, uh, the picture story there tells uh, the president there uh, campaigning with, in River State. All right, that's the that's all from this day in newspaper actually this morning. All right, Smart Akwejo, thank you so much for coming this morning. Thank you for thank having you very me. Much. Have a great day. All right.